Okay, I'm, uh, I'm back. You can see I've done a bunch of wire stripping here. And uh, I just couldn't bring myself to use uh, these screw terminals. It just simply didn't seem safe. Um, I know I was either going to burn something down or blow something up or electrocute myself. So I went ahead and used these. Um, they're... Uh, Inshore uh, push-in wire connectors. I'm using 14-gauge uh, wire. These take 12 to 20-gauge, and they're four ports. So uh, this is what they look like. You just strip the wire about half an inch, push them in there. The ends are covered up with this nice clear plastic. Um, and then to make a solid bus, uh, I just you know, you just j put a couple of wires in and then jumper them from one. So you you lose two, you get three wires on the first one, and then you get a jumper, and then the, you only get two on the remainders, but that's all right. Uh, what we end up with is something like this. And you can see here, uh, this is the ground, and... This is an, another set of grounds over here, uh, and here's the hot, and another set of hot for the left side. Basically, this is what it looks like, and I just put them in, in the socket numbered order, although in this case that doesn't really matter, um, but just to try and keep things straight, and these little red pieces are the jumpers to keep them all linked into the same bus. Now at this point I'm trying to decide since your common uh, household uh, circuit breaker will only take 15 amps and I don't think I'm ever going to be pulling more than that um, with uh, the st strings of lights that I'm talking about controlling but I'm considering the reason I haven't wired this side to this side, although I still have that opportunity because I have two ports open. I could jump her from here over to this side and then still uh, bring the ground in on that one and do the same thing over here and bring the hot in on that one. I'm thinking about bringing two different extension cables in here, uh, cutting off the ends and setting it up that way. Um, it has no effect on the way the relays will work, but what it would do is say I could pull 15 amps on this side with these eight and another 15 amps on these sides with these eight as long as I plug the ends of the two uh, incoming power lines into two different circuits on the house. So i got to think about that a little bit. Um, once I figure that out, you know, we'll deal with that at that time. Uh, the Now this is the return power, so this was uh, basically the negative or common side of the circuit, uh, these white wires. These will plug into uh, the relay, so it'll come... Oh, wait a minute. So they'll come down from the plug onto the normally closed side of the relay on each one of the each one of the plugs each one of the 16 relays um, and that'll be alright I don't have the relay board yet uh, hopefully that will be here sometime early next week uh, that'll be four or five days it's gonna be kinda hard to wait around but in the meantime maybe I can work on some of the software and getting the uh, Arduino connected uh, some of that written Anyway, we will move on in part three.